हेलो नमस्कार एंड सुस्वागत आई एम श्रेया कुटसटकर अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ डॉन बॉस्को कॉलेज पैंजन एंड आई एम योर टू शो यू हाउ यू मेक द राइट डिसीजन बाय जॉइनिंग द इंस्टीट्यूट डॉन बॉस्को कॉलेज इज लोकेटेड इन द हार्ट ऑफ पैंजन एंड इट फॉर्म्स अ पार्ट ऑफ द डॉन बॉस्को एजुकेशनल सोसाइटी फाउंडेड बाय सेंट जॉन बॉस्को वी स्ट्राइव टू प्रमोट द होलिस्टिक एजुकेशन ऑफ द यंग एस्पेशली ऑफ द मार्जिनलाइज इन द डॉन बॉस्को वे बाय मेकिंग देम एजेंट्स ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर अ बेटर टुमारो During the last few years of being in this college, not only have I enjoyed some of the best courses, but we've also had tons of opportunities, just like this, to showcase our talents and explore ourselves further to the various events that the college organizes throughout the year, such as Milanch, Meteora, Synthesis. Prime Time, Hercules, Cosmocrat, and Colossus. Before I tell you more about what's in store for you for your upcoming years here, I'd like to request our manager, a man who has been at the helm of this institution's progress, Father Joaquin Lobo, to say a few words. Dear friends, our college is called Don Bosco College, Father Bosco College. When John Bosco, his real name, when he was young, their family worked in fields. not of their own they worked in the field as tenants and they lived there that means they did not have their own house adding to this misery when john was 2 years old his father dies as he grows up and works in the field along with his mother mama margaret and his elder brother he realized that he loved to study somehow he had a wish to study more and more and therefore even while he was working he would try to read something keep a book down there and as he is working during the breaks times or whenever there was a little time for him he would start reading and looking at it his elder brother would get a little angry he would say see i am very strong and i work hard you are young you are growing up you should also work hard and let all contribute to the family that was all fair even ma- mother thought so but later on mother realized that he don bosco really had the inclination to study more and more and uh, during his time there were no schools around he would have to fetch one of the parish priests learned man to teach him something and he would do that he would walk far away along with his mother to the parish and asked after the mass whether he can come there to learn something from him and that's how we picked up some lessons and finally before going to school he started to read and write and mother was surprised that he was that smart without going to school he was able to read and write and uh, she saw that he was really interested and looking at a situation at home that brother does not want him to study mother decided that he should not stay in their house until his studies he should go out and uh, study somewhere so she found out their uncle and uh, informed him about this young boy and said you keep him there let him study somewhere and as he studied i uh, stayed with his uncle don bosco found out some teachers especially priests who would help him to study only when he was 14 years old he was able to go to a formal school when he had younger children in his class and now since he was there in the school 
he was able to study and complete two three classes in just one year and he finished very fast during this time he worked worked in the fields worked as a carpenter worked as a mason worked as a cobbler worked in a bar and stayed for many times under the staircase many days and years the struggle he had gone through is very difficult to explain as a young boy going through this struggle without the family alone and he learned he taught his companions and earned something even from their families and that's how he paid his own fees and today when he is a priest he decided that he will work to educate the young he started gathering the youngsters especially the poor and the abandoned and started to teach them he got other companions to help him and thus as he is a priest now he began his own oratory own schools technical schools today as you have joined in this don bosco college remember this boy remember his upbringing remember his poverty and how he succeeded in overcoming all his difficulties and learned to be a guardian to others when you join this college remember this is a blessing for you Don Bosco blesses you because you are a youngster and he loves the young may he always be with you work hard study hard and remember to do well in your studies and help someone else afterwards as you grow up may god be with you and welcome to don bosco college as always inspiring words to live by thank you father every institute has a mission they wish to accomplish a purpose they work so hard to fulfill to enlighten us about the mission that drives our college forward we have our beloved principal dr cedric silvera good morning students and a warm welcome to don bosco college well today i'd like to tell you something about our vision and our mission our vision is to promote holistic education to the young especially the marginalized in the don bosco way creating agents of transformation for a better tomorrow when i say agents of transformation for a better tomorrow i mean we do not select only the best and the brightest but also the not so bright i'd like to say that we select the keen and industrious students and along with the teachers create a difference in their lives our mission is to provide an integral formation of academia professionalism and human commitment we not only engage our students in academia and give them a professional outlook but also help them in human commitment by engaging in tours they empathize with others friends and learn to live by themselves they sensitize them when they go to orphanages or aged homes where they see to the needs of the aged and orphans and we inculcate values in them through our faculty and also to other resource people well i'm sure we'll meet a number of times in the years to come i wish you all the very best we'll do our best from our side and hope you all put your best foot forward thank you and god bless everybody who is a part of don bosco is a part of the mission thank you sir like every institution we also have our stalwarts the ones who may not always be seen but whose efforts are always present in the heights we attain to shed some light on the administrative hierarchy of the salesian society in panchen we have our very own student mr aryavrat malhotra our college is a part of the don bosco society for higher education which is a non-profit organization the vice rector reverend father joachim lobo is also the director of don bosco college reverend father felix fernandez is the chairman and the provincial of the panjim province reverend father clive teles is also the vice provincial and the vice chairman of the panjim province he is also the principal of don bosco high secondary school 
Reverend Father Avin Carvalho is a principal of Don Bosco High School. Father Lodi Perez is a shrine director and Father Alexino Rodriguez is the administrator. Coming to our college, Reverend Father Joachim Lobo is the director of Don Bosco College. Dr. Cedric Silvera is the officiating principal and we have Mr. Ajit Gopi who is the IQAC director. The coordinators of the various departments are for bachelors of computer applications we have mr jovi de silva for bachelors of business administration we have dr cedric silvera for bachelors of social work we have dr pankaj kumbar mrs nikita chudankar duri is the coordinator of bachelors of arts and mass communication mr ryan parera is the head of the bachelors of physical education and finally mr gilbert mendes is the head of business administration of travel and tourism teachers change and influence lives by sharing their knowledge and experiences they make sure that we the students achieve our complete potential our teaching faculty here at don bosco's is filled with vibrant teachers who never tire of going the extra mile for their students the support staff are the ones who work day in and day out in order to maintain the smooth functioning of the college every support staff puts in great effort in order to make this environment feel more like home when we search for colleges what is the first thing we look for the safety of the students and that is exactly what our college prioritizes there are many different cells and committees here always present for our students whenever they need any help now our student ms zainab kadri will tell us a little more about these cells and committees don bosco college has a number of cells and committees to ensure optimum safety and a healthy learning environment we have women cell students welfare and grievance redressal cell anti ragging committee prevention of sexual harassment committee sports committee nss cultural committee career counseling for those unsure about what their future holds college would be boring if we only learned what was on the syllabus but that's never the case here we have more than 5 clubs and each club conducts several exciting activities throughout the year The all-round development of students is clearly a priority and that is why we are encouraged to pursue different skills, new activities and to step out of our comfort zone and have an amazing college experience. The Books and Beyond Club tables into reading, writing, book discussions and performances. The Ecotiva Club focuses on environment conservation by growing trees, cleaning beaches and teaching recycling techniques to its members. For those interested in media the film club explores the behind the scenes of filmmaking by introducing students to the cast and crew of films and also holding discussions and quiz sessions while the photography club encourages different photography techniques and teaches students skills that can turn this hobby into a career You can always go back to the days bygone and experience the different aspects of cultural heritage with the help of our heritage club However, fitness is also stressed upon. The Health and Fitness Club encourages fitness activities through yoga sessions and sporting events for its members. With the change in mode of education in recent times, our college has adapted by integrating a learning management system called Moodle, which is an online teaching platform which simplifies online learning. Our classrooms and computer labs on campus are well equipped with the latest learning tools and software. Each department has its own dedicated IT lab for its students. Additionally, we also have a media studio equipped with sound recording and camera equipment. Our college library strikes a balance between traditional and digital means of learning, providing access to not only books but to an e-library with unlimited resources. Our campus facilities includes the Don Bosco Oratory, which has provisions for indoor basketball, badminton, table tennis, The oratory also houses a special space for yoga and aerobics. We also have a football ground, two new futsal arenas, tennis courts and an outdoor basketball court. Think you've heard enough? Well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. By interacting with your classmates, the teachers and participating wholeheartedly, you will have an experience that you will never forget. But we leave the challenge of that to you. Thank you for listening in and best of luck for the new academic year. You will soon have a department orientation.